Our next guest has the story of determination and success. No matter what the odds were against her, she is a world-renowned athlete and Paralympian. And she'll soon bring her talents to the Sun Coast. Please welcome rower Jackie Kabanoski. Jackie, welcome to Sun Coast View. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Thank you for having me. I Tell really us a little it. about your story. Well, um, um, I am a two-time Paralympian. I competed in the Winter Games in 2010. I was on the USA curling team. Um, I just finished, I just came off of Rio, um, competed on the US rowing team. Um, I have competed in seven world championships in three sports. So I was on the US curling team, the USA triathlon team, and the USA uh, rowing team. And I bronzed in curling and the triathlon team and uh, unfortunately, I did not uh, medal in rowing. Oh, yeah, well, I am so great. amazed. <laughs> well, now, I can Thank see you. why you might, you were lifting. Some of those were weightlifting things. I can see why you might discover you're good at that. But how did you know you could row? Um, actually, it was just after I retired from curling. Mm -hmm. And I received an email out of the blue um, at the Olympic uh, Training Center in Oklahoma inviting me out there to uh, give it a shot. And apparently, I did quite well. And they invited me to um, live there to train oh. in hopes of making Team USA. That's amazing. Yeah. You know what else I find amazing? Like, you're telling your story, and you're talking about all of the positives. But you've been through some really trying times. Yes, I have. You've had, you overcome a lot of challenges. Tell yes. us about some of those. Um, in my 20s, um, I had bacterial meningitis twice. and. Um, you know, to, to sit on this stage today and to share my story, it's just incredible because I did have my rights uh, read to me, my last rights read to me the second time I had it. Oh, my God. Yeah, my parents said that they never thought they'd ever see me come out of the hospital alive. And I'm here today to share my story. And unfortunately, from the bacteria that I had, um, I winded up with a very rare disease, one in one million, called stiff person syndrome. Um, that came around the age of 35. It took them four years to diagnose because it is so rare. But you were training all this time? I was actually an elite runner. I've done 81 marathons. So 81? I, yeah, I was going to do Miami this weekend, um, so it'll be 82. Um, but I ran, I believe it was 17 or 19 of them before um, uh, the wheelchair. Wow. And then the rest I so completed. So sports has been a part of your life forever. Oh, ever. Yes. So obviously having your physicalness compromised has got to have been so stressful. How did you keep yeah. sports a part of your life? My husband had oh. a, a very huge part of that. Um, it's I get emotional when I talk oh. about him because if it wasn't for my husband, I would not be a two-time Paralympian. Well, everyone a world needs champion. a champion yeah. in their corner. He's my I mean, champion. Oh, oh. And Many, many people never find what you've got with your husband, oh, so you're a very yeah. lucky well, lady yes, in that. I am. Well, not even just, you know, with her husband, the fact that you have, you know, taken these negatives and said, who cares what happened? I am still going to be a champion in the other parts of my life. That is an amazing feat because many people can't even do that when they don't have obstacles. And you have looked at those obstacles and jumped over them. And, cha and you, you were you were in Winter Olympics, and then you changed yes. to Summer Olympics. Yeah, I actually retired, so I wasn't. I mean, retired. I always, <laughs> and you are. Yeah. Well, then, that's a real word. <laughs> um, and it was just unbelievable, like the chain of events of my life of how I retired from one sport and was invited to do another, and then. Um, you know, I had some health issues with my rowing, so I had to take a little bit of time off. And as I was, I had some back surgery. Um, so as I was rehabbing and swimming, I got another uh, invite to try out for the U.S. triathlon to go to a camp. And I did very well there. And I went to um, the very first try I did, I won. And then uh, wow. I went to Texas to try out for the national team. And uh, it was amazing. I did very well, won, and earned my spot on the USA triathlon team. But then we had another adversity come along, another obstacle that I wasn't feeling well. So my family's all from Scotland. So they actually came to watch me in London compete, mm -hmm. which was tremendous. But I, I wasn't feeling well. And when I came home, we found out that um, I actually thought, because I was swimming in Hyde Park, I thought maybe it had something to do with the duck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stuff in there. Blame those dogs. Um, but I winded up having cancer. <laughs> oh, mm. God. Yeah. Wow. So I had cancer as soon as I, I came home third in the world. And then 
to find out I had cancer. That was a, a bit of a blow to us. I am wow. Yeah. And you're here for the Unity Luncheon. Yes, Tell I me am. about that. Uh, that's very exciting. That's going to be happening today. Um, I am the guest speaker, and um, uh, we're going to be promoting the 2017 World Championships. They're happening here in your own backyard in Sarasota, which is very exciting. You're going to be here, right? Well, I have to try out for the team again. So oh. the Olympics are over, so I go to New Jersey in August, and um, anyone from the United States can come up and um, compete against me, and hopefully I will win, That's and then right. come back in September and represent the United States one more time before I retire. Oh, we will one be more. out there cheering for well, you. Well, thank you. Oh, what yes, an awesome lady. You give thank us all you. so much courage in the future. Thank you thank so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, oh thank you for well, coming. Thank you. And next, Money Does Matter, we're going to talk about money and time with Richard Stern.